So we're looking at Pro Tools first. Avid is actually giving away a copy of Pro Tools for free, which is great. Something I could throw in my laptop, take it on the road. Yes, it has its limitations, but it's free. You could only save three sessions in the cloud. The sessions aren't compatible with full versions of Pro Tools. So if you make this wonderful song in Pro Tools first and you want to send it off to get mixed somewhere, you would have to export stems, which isn't that difficult to do. Plugins, you can't use any third party plugins. And I guess that's fine. The Pro Tools uh, stock plugins are great. So if you're wondering, this isn't the first time that a copy of Pro Tools was given away for free. That's how I found out about Pro Tools and that's how I started using Pro Tools. At the time, I had a copy of Windows 98, maybe a computer that had five to 600 megahertz, maybe, probably lower. But here's my point, very limited system. If you understand your limitations, you can actually do amazing work with it. So just because the system is limited or Pro Tools first is limited, learn the limitations and I guarantee you, you can still do great work. So I want to know what you guys think about this. Are you guys excited? Post in the bottom. And again, check the description. The link is going to be there. Give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. This is Ray and I'm out of here.